Good morning, everyone. Especially my uh, my dear, my my friends, my our congregation uh, members. Um, my name is Reverend Sung Jae Yan, um, minister at Borneo Park Uniting Church. Especially today, just a week, a couple of days before um, the new um, the semester, the academic year commence. I I we we Borneo Park Uniting Church. Uh, have had um, as a tradition, um, we we celebrate our young ones and their parents and uh, caregivers and also those who who have a, a teaching role as a teacher or um, uh, the person who resourcing all students and um, those who are learning. So I I may. Bless you all in, in the beginning of this um, the sermon sharing and bless you all and you may go well um, this year. I know this is another year that we will be in a very challenging and changing uh, situation because of COVID. But I hope that we will go well because God uh, be with us always. He's everywhere and all the time in your heart, wherever you go, God is there for us. So trust Him and also don't fear uh, anything that you will face. Just trust Him and keep your faith in every day in your life. Um, today I, I want to talk about Jonah and also um, talk about how God worked uh, through him in his life and in his ministry for for, for the people. Jonah was sent to speak truth to the people of Nineveh. If he never did, then the Nineveh citizens would not have had an opportunity to know God. They would have been lost forever. Yet God in his love sent Jonah to speak the truth. Speak the truth. Jonah had to learn that lying and running away from God doesn't work and doesn't help anybody. But when he listened to God, when he told the man the real reason, real honest reason why the storm was happening, and when he started being truthful with God and the Nineveh citizens, God did the miracles through him. God wants us to be truthful to people. We need to ask God to give us wisdom and boldness to speak the truth to our friends and even to our teachers. This is sometimes difficult and often we, we, can, make, we can make things worse by telling the truth. However, if we speak the truth, then people will know that they can trust us for honest answers. So how would we do if we want to speak the truth to people? We need to ask God to help us to tell the truth and not the take the easy way out. We need His wisdom of when to speak truth and how to do it. One truth, important, one truth that people need to hear about is Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the Savior, and Jesus Christ, your friend, your best friend. This truth is the best truth that we can ever tell any, anyone. We need God's strength to tell this truth, God's strength. When we mess up or make mistakes, we need to be able to tr trust our friends to tell us that we are not doing the right thing so that we can learn to do better next time, so that we don't keep making the same mistakes. So let us remember, God wants us to speak to truth. This coming week, God will send us this new year of learning, academic year, to speak truth 
to the people around us. You are also called to love them. Jonah was sent to the people of Nineveh. However, after he went the toll, the people, the truth that God was willing to give them a second chance if they turned back to him. God loved the people of Nineveh, though they disobeyed. God wanted Jonah to bring the truth and love to the people in the city. That was his mission. That was God's call to use him to bring the truth and his love to the people in Nineveh. This coming week, and also the year ahead, God sends us in the new, new semester to love our friends old and new. They might be a new friends from other school, or they might be um, yeah, the friends that you never been never had been in the same class before. So we need love. We need love. Nobody likes a person that always tells the truth but has no love. Truth without love is just harsh and ugly to he. It leaves people feeling bad and sad. God wants us to speak with love because it leaves people feeling good and alive. It encourages them to keep going and reminds them of God's love. When we speak with love, then they start to understand what God's love is. Um, when we tell them about God's love, they can even believe it better because they have, have been seen it in you, in me, and in us. It's important that we love others. There are two great commandments from Jesus Christ, which are Number one, love your God. And number two, love your neighbor. That means love your friends. But also we need to be prepared to tell them the truth when they need to hear it. Otherwise, people don't know about Jesus Christ. So we need to speak the truth in love really isn't easy. So we need to ask for God's help. We need His Holy Spirit to give us strength and confidence to speak. I'm sure Jonah was scared when he shared the message from God with the citizens of Nineveh. So what does speaking the truth in love really look like? So dear my brothers and sisters in Christ, so let us remember to pray and ask God to help us speak the truth in love to those that we meet in new class, new school, or big school, and university. Remember that when we remind people of the truth of Jesus, we must do so in a loving way, in a loving way, kind way. People matter to God and God wants them to know the truth but he also wants them to know his love too dear my friends in christ when you prepare and when you go to the new year of learning and education in 2021 i bless you all again i bless you all again uh, sebastian we bless you vivian olivia we bless you. Jaden, Michelle, we bless you. Heather, Daniel, Joshua, we bless you. Zachary, Isabella, we bless you. Oscar, Bianca, we bless you. Emily, Ashley, we bless you. Lizzie, Tanisha, and Lily, James, we bless you. Jack, we bless you. And Nicholas, we bless you. And also in a congregation, 
um, members. There are some um, teachers in, in public school and private um, education sector and also in university or um, other area that resource uh, the students. Like um, Christy, we bless you. And Grace, we bless you. And Phoebe, we bless you. And also um, Gemma in Deniliquin, we bless you. And finally, I bless you all the parents and the caregivers who, who will support and let's continue to love your children and their friends in the coming years. They need your, your support and love all the time. So please give your comfort words and words of encouragement to them all the time. I'm patting them and giving them assurance of how much you love them as God loved them. So they will also see God in your love and your care. So my friends in Christ, please go well and into this a new year of learning. And so you may achieve what you, what, whatever your learning goal is. As I share the message with you, um, go and speak the truth when it needed. And also speak the truth in love because Jesus Christ always un uh, want us to, to honor God and love our neighbor. Don't forget this. Bye.